Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group, and I have a Christmas story for you. And like all good Christmas stories, mine involves a star. But we don't have three dudes wandering around the desert or any of that stuff. We just start with a star. Take a look up here real quick. This is a periodic table of the elements. It's the building blocks of the universe. And right up there, in the first spot, the most plentiful element in the whole universe is hydrogen. Well, we're going to get into why that's cool. Because if you take a whole bunch of hydrogen, just floating around in space, and you let it kind of collect, it gets heavy fast. And under its own weight, it kind of crushes, and it gets so heavy, it generates its own pressure, it gets its own gravity. And it gets so hot, it fuses into other elements, like helium. And this is where we get stars. This is my pet star. It's a star in a jar. This is a Farnsworth Hirsch fuser, and it's just what I needed to show you how stars work. You can even turn the star off. But what we do here is this is how nuclear fusion works. That's how stars work. You take two of those hydrogen atoms, slam them together with a lot of pressure and a lot of heat, and you get helium. Two hydrogens make a helium. Simple. But when you make that helium atom, you give off a little bit of light, a little bit of heat, a little bit of radiation. Now this is how the sun works, and every other star out there. Depending on how big the star is when it starts, depends on what happens to it when it dies. Some of them do some pretty cool stuff when they die. Our sun won't do anything really spectacular. We've got a pretty generic sun. But the sun, and every other star out there, takes hydrogen and makes helium. Other stars doing other kinds of stuff all work on pretty much the same thing, the nuclear fusion stuff. And that's where everything on that chart comes from. It starts out as lighter elements that get slammed together to make heavier elements. This also works backwards over time. It's why you have radon in your basement. It comes from uranium in the ground that decomposes and turning into lead. So if you've ever held a piece of lead, that used to be uranium a long time ago. But when this happens, heavier elements get made. And pretty soon you get everything on the chart. And we haven't found all of them yet. There's still other ones out there that we haven't discovered yet. That's why there's some holes in the chart. But that's where they come from. They're made in stars. Well, you, me, Mikey the camera guy, everything you've ever seen, touched, tasted, smelled, everything, is made from stars. How cool is that? You're made of stars, okay? That's just, that's, wow! Just think about that for a second. You're made of stars. The computer you're watching this on, the screen, the, the desk in front of you, the carpet in your room, the shoes on your feet are made of stars. You are made of stars. That's the coolest Christmas story ever. But it gets better. This is where we get my little Geiger counter into play, which if I turn it back on, you can hear it. It's still popping. Now, the reason it's popping is when some of these stars die, they shoot out these high energy particles into space. And they go through everything. They, they go right through the roof of this building like it's a piece of tin foil. They plow right through your body at just under the speed of light, shooting across the cosmos. The particles that are hitting this could have been shot out from a star before there were people walking on this planet. And they shoot through your body, and they're, they're harmless. They've, it happens to everybody. It happened before you were born. But these cosmic rays shoot through your body, and they hit your DNA. And the DNA is like a, a cellular fingerprint. It's a little molecule that makes you, you. And sometimes they flip it a little bit, just parts of it. And when they do that, it changes. That one molecule changes just a little bit. And that's why you have bl brown eyes and I have blue eyes. You have blonde hair, I have, well, still mostly black hair. It's why Mikey's chubby and I'm anorexic. It's, it's why people are different. It's where different comes from. And this process works on a very tiny change over a very long time. So not only are you made of stars, but you are the person you are today, in part because of stars. And that's the coolest Christmas story ever. I mean, that's just, you're made of stars. So, you know, I like the old Christmas story. It's pretty cool. We got three dudes cruising through a desert, following a star. And they didn't know back then that there's a lot more to that than just a star in the sky. Now you do. So, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. 
to everybody out there, and I want to thank all of you for watching all these crazy-ass videos we make. I'll see you next time.